Hey, what's up guys, it's Dorian. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little trick, something that Pulse Audio has hidden. It's a little feature and it has to do with sound. So if you record audio now and then and you've got that hissing background noise or you've got stuff going on in the background that you don't want anyone to hear while you're recording, there's a little trick that you could do in the terminal. So I'll just show you, for example, let me just bring this over here. So right now, you're listening to me with the noise cancellation enabled. So when I'm not talking, you shouldn't hear anything. So now I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to turn it off. You might have to turn up the volume a little bit. I'm not gonna yell or smack the mic or anything, but in case you are curious. So if I go here, it's not so bad now because my room is quiet, but sometimes when there's traffic outside or someone else is in the house or whatever, it makes a difference. So you can see right here, I'm using the echo canceled with blah, blah, blah. I have two options here. So if I switch it to blue snowball, so you'll see now I'm using the echo and noise cancellation now, and now I'm going to switch it to the normal mode. So now you might hear more stuff in the background, hear me moving around, traffic going by outside maybe, moving around on my desk and moving my chair. And I can see, as you can see on the little view meter here, that it never goes right all the way down to zero. All right, so now I'm gonna go and turn it back on, or switch it back, I should say because it counts as a different input source. And now you can see it goes all the way down and it actually amplifies my voice a little bit. So how does this work? Well, it's a little script and here's a bonus for you. In case you're ever trying to find an old command that you forgot about, you've used before, instead of pressing the up arrow to cycle through endlessly, something that I do, there is a file in your home directory that you can search through. So if you go cat, because I'm in my home directory now, bash, not bach, bash history, it's going to display everything. But now if I'm looking for something specific, I can pipe it into grep and I can go, I remember I used wget. So when you do that, it's going to filter it out. So as you can see, this here was the command that I used. So now this will add your input device. So let me just go to sounds input. This will add the echo cancellation module to your microphone. Now, if you switch microphones, you'll have to reinitialize it and I'll get to that in a second. But basically, I'm going to put this in the description. You copy and paste this, and it's going to run this file, which is online. This is a guy that posted it online, and I'm going to show you what that is here. So this is by Luigi Maselli, and basically this script will download. This command here will download this, run these commands, and then it will restart your Pulse Audio. You can copy and paste this as well. I'll put it in the description and then you're not relying on this link here working forever because if this link stops working, you're not going to be able to do this again. One thing I would not recommend that you do, but it's totally up to you. Take these two out when you run it and your echo canceling will not be the default device. Why? Because in 18.04, I noticed, I don't think this happened in 16.04, but it also creates an echo cancellation on your output devices. So now and then it will switch to this being my default and then I have no sound. And then I have to go in here and I have to click on this to get sound again. And then input will have your input devices, obviously. I would recommend running these and not these not these. 
Um, you, you don't have to run this every time. Once you've done it, it will create the device for you. And I can show you here, I just did it recently. This is the file that it edits. It's etc pulse default.pa. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it adds these three lines. So now if you were to run this more than once, it's gonna keep adding these lines. So this is the file you'd wanna go in and delete some of the extras. You can also remove these lines if you want. So you're going to remove it so it's not the default. Control O, enter to save, Control X. And now to reinitialize, you're going to do pulse audio hyphen K, which kills the pulse audio demon. Now, I'm not gonna do it now because I'm actually recording, but when you do that, it will kill the, the demon, it will restart it, and then your devices will repopulate here. So if you just plugged in a USB, uh, I have to do this sometimes because my microphone is USB. When you plug it in, it's going to not show up. I have to run Pulse Audio K, and then it kind of restarts itself and it redetects my USB microphone with the echo cancellation. So that's my quick tip for today. I hope you guys found it handy. So if you found this handy, click on like. If you want to see more tips and tricks on things you can do in Linux, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, you can also follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. Till next time, guys. Bash on.